There's plenty of content already out there on how to build IKEA Alex drawers, but I have some special points I want to add. The first thing I would recommend doing is organizing all the little pieces that are necessary for assembly. This will save you a lot of time later. If you want, you can count all the pieces, but they should be there. For this assembly, I'm using a screwdriver and a hammer, but you don't even need a hammer. A rubber mallet would be good as well. I call this first section the body of the Alex drawer. I have it laid out just like the instruction manual, and the first thing to do is insert three screws into the outer and middle hole of each drawer slide board. For your convenience, here I am pointing them out. Then use a screwdriver to firmly screw these in. I recommend using a screwdriver since your hands will be very tired from trying to hand turn these screws. Now keep in mind, this is where the wooden dowels go when it's assembled. Now, repeat the same process on the other drawer slide board. For the backboard, the wooden dowels need to be inserted next. Again, for your convenience, I'm pointing to where these must go. Once the wooden dowels are in, repeat the process on the other side. When that is completed, the backboard has to be placed on the panel. After that is in place, put three large lock screws in the hole and use the screwdriver to tighten them. This will pull down the screw from the connecting board and help lock it in place. Then do the exact same thing to the other side. Now this is one of the important parts where you could mess up because you need to make sure you have this set up in the correct orientation before adding the top and bottom boards. You can see I twisted the Alex drawer around for your convenience so you can hopefully see what I'm doing more clearly. How do you know which is the top and which is the bottom? Because the drawer slides with the least amount of space in between the sliders are for the smaller drawers and the smaller drawers go on top. That is how you know you set this up in the correct orientation. When attaching the top and bottom, you have some flexibility here. If you want the Alex drawer to be a standalone drawer, assemble it with the smooth side on top. If you want to screw the Alex drawer into a desk, then use the side with holes in it as your top board. After you make your decision, screw in six screws into one board, three on each side, one in the middle, and two in the outer holes. This is what it should look like. Then do the exact same thing on the other board. As you can see, even with the screwdriver, my palm was getting tired. Now, when you're done, it should look like this. This is a good point to check your work because this is where I messed up. You can see I overlooked the step and didn't put the wooden dowels in when placing the top board on. Let's fast forward to the end where I had to take the drawer apart to put the dowels into the top board. The drawings say to have the wooden dowels on the other board, but it's all connecting together in the end. In this case, just go by the manual. Once you slap the top down, Grab six large lock screws and place three on each side. Again, use a screwdriver to lock the screws into place. Once that is done, do the exact same thing on the bottom board. When you're done attaching the bottom board, make sure you flip it back over because now it's time to assemble the drawers. I'm going to start with the large drawer first. This is what the front looks like, and this is what the back looks like. Next, we're going to take four screws and put them in each of the four holes and tighten them with the screwdriver. Okay. 
Also, shout out to the worker that manufactured these boards. Once the screws are tightened, grab a large draw board and attach it. Make sure the draw lines matches with the draw pull face. Then, we're going to spin the draw around and put two small lock screws into the two holes. Make sure to tighten those as well. Then, repeat the process on the other side for the other board. As you can see, everything should be lined up according to the interior draw line. Next, grab your draw bottom and slide it down to the base. Make sure you have the cutout corner slid downwards. Once that is completed, grab the large drawer backboard and fit it inside the cutout slots. Also, make sure the thin drawer base is resting inside the cutout of the drawer backboard. Once everything has a snug fit, grab four of the plastic looking screws and put them into each hole, two on each side. Then grab your hammer or rubber mallet and give it a few taps for it to go in. When you're done, this is what it looks like. Everything should feel sturdy and not loose or wobbly. Now, simply repeat the process for the other two large drawers. When assembling the smaller drawers, you follow the same process except for one adjustment. You only use two screws per drawer and they go in the top hole on each side. The bottom hole on each side is used for a wooden dowel. Once you have the sideboard and the drawer face connected, the rest of this assembly is the same as the large drawer. Take a moment to put those together. Once you're ready to install the IKEA Alex drawers, when you install one, the process is the same for all of them. Go ahead and pull out one of the drawer slides to get it warmed up. You want to make sure it isn't stuck because we will need this to slide out easily in just a second. Grab one of the drawers then line up the drawer slider with the cutouts. After you connect the two, push the drawer all the way back. Sometimes you would get lucky and the drawer slider would line up with the cutout in the drawer. If it doesn't line up, you need to push the drawer slide forward until it hits the base of the drawer front. This must be done in order to line up the two screws we need to screw in from the interior. Here are what those two screws look like. Place both screws into the only two holes in this drawer, one on each side. Once that is completed, you've successfully installed the first drawer. Give it a few pulls to make sure it operates correctly. Then once you're done with all five, this is what the final product looks like. Be sure to replay any part of this video you get stuck on. I'll keep notifications on for this video, so if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. In my downtime, I've been working on minimalist wallpapers. Here's the current one I'm working on that is nowhere near finished. Be sure to check out www.visionarywatch.com blog for current wallpapers. While you're there, Check out the gear section to see what gear I use for photography, videography, and to run this YouTube channel. I plan on giving back to the subscribe W gang in multiple ways in the future. So make sure you tap that sub button and leave a comment so that I can look back a year, two years from now and see who is really rocking with me. W gang, we out.